Uh, spring is a rough time for Saskatoon streets. Uh, as snow starts to melt, water ponds on the surface of the road, which eventually infiltrates through cracks and other surface defects. As water gets under the surface of the road, daily freeze thaw cycles cause it to significantly weaken the road. And you add in uh, some heavy traffic on top of that and you see the biggest uh, increase in potholes over the course of the whole year happen in the next two months. Um, and on top of that, potholes are really difficult to repair. So uh, right now, there aren't asphalt plants that are operating. We're not doing any major construction projects, which we are able to piggyback on in terms of getting hot mix asphalt material. And so, um, so we don't have access to good material. And also the pavement temperature and that excess moisture I was talking about causes uh, the, the material that we do use, which is cold mix, not to fuse very well with the existing pavement because the pavement is cold and you need that heat really to get things to stick together really well. So with this new technology we're able to address two of those issues. Uh, one is we're able to get fresh hot asphalt material and we make it in the in the hopper out of uh, out of recycled material that we've actually pulled off of old paving projects. So it's a, we get to recycle, which is obviously a benefit from a, both a cost and environmental perspective. And also, it's hot and fresh material, better material than we've uh, would typically get in other years. On top of that, we get to heat up the pavement with the with a thermal infrared um, plate. We heat up the pavement around around the fresh material which means that we can get a proper fusion of the new material and the old material and when those are properly fused together water can't infiltrate the road and you won't see those failures recurring over and over and over again like they have in the past. Uh, it's a lot different working in these conditions, there's a lot more moisture around and uh, this is truly a test. We're around the threshold temperature which is minus 10, any colder than minus 10 and, and we're less confident in, in the results that we'll get. So we're, this, uh, we'll be coming back here over the next uh, few weeks to see how it's performing and the idea is that it won't be failing over and over again, that we can get it fixed one time and so that's what we're hoping for here today.